Hello everyone and welcome to my plan with me for this week. I am going to be using uh, Kelo the Plan's uh, weekly florals for my spread this week. So I'm really excited to be using this. So let's go and see what we want to do. Okay. Let's lift this up. She has such beautiful flowers. It's amazing. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. And then that just slides right across. That is so pretty. I'm going to use this one now. So, this week what I'm doing is I'm trying to do not a huge, huge floral plan, planner. So, I have gotten used to using the florals just because they are very, very popular with other planners. And so I'm getting used to doing that. Um, so that's always a challenge when you're not used to something like that. How do I want to do this? I think maybe I want to do it on the bottom. What do you think down here? Okay, so first, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to find this, because I realize that I don't like seeing the lines through that. So I am just going to um, erase these lines, and you know what? It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Um, it is essentially your planner and you are making it to however you want it to be. So never feel like you have to compete or do exactly what somebody else is doing. I know I struggled with that for a long time when I first started. And it is something that I'm working through so that I'm not, um, I'm not doing the same thing. So it, it makes, it does make a difference. So I'm just going to put that there. And I like the fact so you can see the difference between the lines and without the line. So using a correction tape or using a white pen to cover up the lines, you know, do whatever you feel like doing and whatever you think is going to be the best for you or show your, your style. Because not everybody has the same style and it really, really makes a difference. Um, how you are going to, how are you going to plan? Everybody plans just a little bit differently. So um, everybody, you know, don't feel like you have to compete because honestly, this is about you and this is about making it look beautiful for you because honestly this is your this is your planner so if you want your planner to look a certain way then do it there's no reason why you can't I think I'm going to pull that up or I'm going to do it at an angle just because I don't like the overhang. Oh, this is being yucky. Ugh. Well, see, 
it doesn't matter if you make a mistake because you can always cover it up. You can always um, look at how you want this to look. And let's see if we can just fix this a little bit. There we go. So you can do stuff to kind of hide mistakes and it still looks really, really nice. You don't have to follow um, certain plans or what other people do. Do your own thing because as I said, this is your planner and it has to be something that you enjoy using and you enjoy looking at so that you can be happy with what you've done and what you've created. Um, and never forget that everybody's different. So you don't have to be the same as everybody else. So I am going to put this on the top. just so that it kind of matches. So let's do some boxes. Let's do some boxes. Hmm. I would like to bring this color in. So what I'm going to do is just have it so that it overhangs just a little bit. It's a little crooked. It is what it is. Uh, and let's do this box because you've actually got another box. And we can put this in right here. And then I'm going to put this over here because this is very much like that one. So just going to scoop this in there. And we'll do this one. Hmm. Not a big flower person, like I say, but this, uh, this is coming together kind of nicely. So I think I'm going to do this. So, so far, that's what we have. Uh, let's see. Let's bring some orange in from over here. And we'll just do this. Overlap it a little bit. And then we can do this. And overlap this a little bit. And... Let's do some boxes. We'll do a box here. And we'll do a yellow box here. And let's do a checklist. So as you can see, I've kind of made that just a little bit too long and I haven't quite figured out how people cut with their X-Acto knives ever so precisely. So I just do this because I haven't been able to do that yet. <laughs> Everybody has different talents, honestly. Do whatever feels good for you and you will be pleased with the results. So I'm going to sneak this in here. And the other thing that you can do if you really want to is you can cut these in half. So you can take one of these and say you want only a half box. So then you can just cut it in half 
and then you've got half that you can use on either side. But I am going to cut a couple of these in half. And that's not very even because I am not that good. Oh, did I cut straight through? Ooh, I did. See, not very good with that. Have not figured out how to use those. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put this one here. Oh. And then we'll put another one over here. And this one here. So, in that vein, what else have I got here? Mm -hmm. I think what I'm going to do is take this long box and I'm going to put it here. put that down and then I'm going to take this and put this on the top so then you can put your highlight of the week in there and what else do I want to put in here top three I think that's it. I'm actually quite happy with that. So again, I just used um, the Kellogg Plan Weekly Florals. It's a really super nice book. It's got lots of different um, things that coordinate together. And uh, I really quite like it. And so this is my layout for next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.